So, okay guys, so I wanted to show you a like coral look today. I just kind of felt inspired because it's so sunny out and I just can't wait for summer. So this is a really coral look and I hope you guys enjoy, so just keep watching. I'm on the 14 carats, I'm 14 carats, doing it up like my ears. Okay, so I'm gonna do the tape method, and what it is is you do um, scotch tape to use as a guideline for eyeshadow. I'm gonna do a little bit of a simple look. You guys might think it's not simple, but for me it's gonna be simple because, yeah, it's like sunny out, it's kind of summery, so I'm gonna do like a, I don't know, a simple eye for me. Before I put the tape on, I wanna prime my eyes, and I'm gonna use Painterly Paint Pot, and that's from MAC. Um, I have hardly any left, so I'm gonna scoop it out with my um, brush here. Just do a synthetic brush if you're gonna do that. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on my eye just to prime it. Okay. Doesn't really matter which kind of tape you use. I like to use scotch tape. And depending on the scotch tape, it doesn't matter if it's transparent or regular, honestly. So you're gonna get like a good amount, not too bad. Is that much? Not too much, not too bad, whatever. Put it on the back of your hand because you, okay, so. Tip. If you're gonna put this on your face, you need to put it on the back of your hand um, because you don't wanna rip off your skin. Your skin around your eyes are very thin. So um, kind of line it up with your arch of your eyebrow and go like that. And there it is. Um, so there's the tape. Uh, you can see it kind of shiny. Like I said, this is the uh, this is the transparent one. You really don't have to use anything. Now I'm gonna go in a fl with a fluffy brush and just a color of my skin type of color. Um, this is Barcelona Beach from Makeup Geek. I know a lot of you wanted to me to say the color, so this is Barcelona Beach from Makeup Geek. Now to def define my crease a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. Um, I love Makeup Geek shadows. They're all I use, basically. Um, they're just really pigmented, they're cheap, and I love them. So Coco Bear, I'm going in and I'm gonna go into the socket. Just go a little bit by the tape, especially if you have hooded eyes, it's because um, go a little bit past the tape because it's gonna sh actually show when you open your eyes. I'm going in with the matte white and this one's called White Lies from Makeup Geek. I'm putting it under my brown bow. <laughs> I'm putting it, <laughs> I'm putting this under my brow bone because I want a matte white under there just to clean it up a little bit. And I'm going in with like a, concealer brush um, my skin's just been so dry lately it's like nothing's wanting to take on my skin it's like patchy and okay so I'm gonna put white lies on my lid and just use it with my finger because I just want like a white matte on my lid um, just using my finger just easier that way if you really struggle with uh, liner the tape method is amazing because I'll show you it's really easy and especially with gel liner or even any kind of liner, you can use it as a guideline. And it's just so freaking easy to use. Sometimes like if I'm having an off day and I'm shaky or because I don't really have steady hands, um, I'll use tape because the liner just gets so crisp and you don't really have to worry about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go in with Max Black Track, and, I'm, and that's a gel liner, and I'm gonna use a Sedona Lace brush, and this is like a thin liner brush. I usually don't like to use these, but this one I actually really like. Who loves a new Beyonce song? Because I cried at the Super Bowl. It's amazing, it's like friggin' amazing. Okay, so I wanna show you guys how I do my liner, and uh, yeah, so the tape's right there. And what I do is I go on top of the tape because it makes like a really crisp line. So go on top of the tape here like this. And I don't wanna do a huge wing to be honest with you and I might do it halfway, I'm not sure, we'll see. And yeah, so just, just go in it and just do your thing. And once you peel the tape off, it's a crisp liner line, so you don't have to like clean, well, I mean, if you wanna clean it up, you can, but it's not like jaggedy and stuff, cause like, I'm a shaky girl, like I said, no matter what. So this really helps. Um, yeah, so I just zoomed, or I, like I said, I did the tape method, and 
when you do the tape, you just kind of go on that way and you're perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and put some lashes on. And then we're going to do the under eye and I'm going to smudge in like bright orange because I kind of want like a coral look today. I'm always into corals, but I will be back in a second. So now I have my lashes on and my other eye. Now I'm going to go into the skin first before I do my under eye just because I don't want any of my concealer to disrupt the under eye when I like smudge my under eye out. I'm going to go in with oil first because my skin's so dry. It's like for Sally Rose Gold Elixir 24 Karat Gold Beauty Oil. It's infused and I really like this oil because one, it smells like oranges and two, it freaking hydrates my skin so much because like I said, really dry. Um, if you are oily, this is still good. I'm going to put it on my fingertips. Okay, first you shake it because it does have um, gold particles in it. So just shake it. And then I'm going to put it on my fingertips. And I'm going to rub it together. I just used three dots. Like I said, my skin's so dry. Three dots and patting into my skin. That is that. I probably will put it on my beauty blender too, to be honest with you, because I'm an alligator. I live in the freaking swamp. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with eye brightener. Now I'm gonna go in with Becca's eye brightener. Um, I love this stuff. It's an alternative to the orange makeup. I really don't wanna put orange under my eye today because I'm going to go in with orange eyeshadow and orange lips. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush again it's like a kind of like a concealing brush and I'm gonna go in on my under eyes and do my thing and like I said brighten those that puppy up brighten it up get in that inner corner you don't have to do this if you don't have bad under eyes honest you really don't um, I just haven't been sleeping well so I'm gonna go in with contour cream and this is the velvet 59 um, Contour is a girl's best friend. It's a cream contour kit, and I love it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go in and just kind of not chisel them out because I really don't want to look too contoured today, like honest. I really don't. So, yeah. I'm using really light strokes and using a stippling brush because I just want to. I'm going in with the same brush, just kind of clean it off a little bit and put a little bit of contour powder on it. And I'm going to sculpt my nose because lately I don't know why I just kind of want to. Um, yeah. So just sculpting my nose. This kind of looks a little orange on camera, huh? Blend it out. Um, I softly blend it out because I do go over it with foundation. A lot of people do differently. I just like to go over it with foundation because it kind of softens the blow for me. Like it just softens it. Um, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. This is in color 105 Natural Beige. It is dark for me. So I mix it in with a Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation and sand. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the back of my hand. I mix it together with my finger. And let's see here. I'm going to dot it on my face. Um, yeah. You guys, I got the Mor new Morphe translucent powder. I'm going to use it today. I'm excited. I've only used it once and I actually really like it. It's like really fine, but yeah. this is a full coverage foundation. You can always use a luminous foundation too. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my one of my favorite concealers. It's super thick, so you guys might not like it, especially if you do have under eye uh, creasing or no under yeah under eye creasing or under eye wrinkles. You might not like this product. Um, it's the It Bye Bye Under Eye, and this one's in medium. I wish I got light uh, because it's like a I want it like a little bit brighter. This is literally my skin tone, but it covers most of the bags. Like it's really full coverage. But yeah, so I just gone ahead, I go ahead and I put it on with my finger. The reason why I do that is, um, the reason why I put it on with my finger because it warms up the product and kind of just smooths it out a little bit more because it is so freaking thick. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go under my eyes with it again, this one. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Morphe powder. Uh, this is a new translucent powder from Morphe. I bought it the other day and I wanted, like I'm having high hopes for this because it's supposed to be like really refined and let's see how it performs. Um, yeah, I have dry skin so everything sits in my pores. So let's see how we like it. I won't know until I totally, um, I will not know until I totally brush it off because then you can see if it's like in your creases or cake face, you know? Um, let's clean up. And what I'm doing right now is considered baking. I'm putting it under my eyes because I want it a little bit brighter. I know it's translucent powder, but that concealer that I just used, you really need to, um, you really need to set it because it does get so creasy. Um, so brush it off. Okay. Oh yeah. So this is a lot. This is a lot like the Laura Mercier powder. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with blush and I'm using this Becca blush and Lantiana. Lantiana. Look how bright that is. Cause I'm just going for the corals today. I'm really going for the corals. Um, especially if you have a blush like this. Put it on the back of your hand first. Um, wow, that's, that's a lot. So I'm gonna also go in with some bronzer just because I like to liven up my face a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Strobe. Actually this is, yeah. So Brilliant Lighting Powder in Strobe Light. Um, I've been really loving this because it's like creamy. You don't really have to worry about um, I don't know, not creasing, but you don't have to worry about this getting in your pores. I just think it's beautiful. So I like to go in with a fan brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. I got it like a hundred years ago. Yeah. So I'm gonna go in on my under eyes and this is a Morphe shadow called um, Flame. And it's just really, really orange. And I think I'm gonna go in with a couple of colors and I'll let you know what they are. So yeah, I'm going in with this Morphe color called Flame and I'm smudging this on my under eye. And so that just adds a pop of orange. I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Poppy. And that is a really, really um, pretty orange as well. My hands are shaking. I told you I always have non-steady hands. Yeah, so that's beautiful. I think I should have went in with Poppy before, but. You guys could have left it without the um, under eye. A lot of people do, but you know, I really like Having a dramatic under eye, to be honest with you. And I wanted to do something different. So I'm gonna go in with this lip pencil. This is Mac's Lasting Sensation, and this is a lip pencil from Mac. And I'm just gonna go over my lips. Now I'm going in with Maybelline's Coral Crush, and I'm gonna put that on my lips. All right, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, yeah, so it's just a coral look. And I was just feeling really summery today because it is so sunny out in San Diego. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below and I will list everything in the description box. And I will see you guys next time. <music>